हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द फोर्थ सेशन ऑफ आवर लिफलेट सीरीज इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू ऐड जियो जेसन फाइल इन टू अवर वेब मैप सो दिस जियो जेसन फाइल इज ए इंडिया स्टेट बाउंड्री दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम माय लोकल हार्ड डिस्क सो वी विल ऐड दिस फाइल एंड व्हेन वी ऐड इट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम बाय डिफॉल्ट इट विल डिस्प्लेड विद अ डिफॉल्ट सिम्बोलॉजी डिफाइंड इन द लिफलेट सो वी आर गोइंग टू चेंज दिस सिम्बोलॉजी and we'll assign color as per our requirement then we are going to add a pop up to it so when i click on the map you can see it is fetching state name from the attributes so we'll configure this uh, functionality parallelly we are also going to configure filter functionality which means that if i don't want to display the entire geojson but based on the attribute i want to display the selected portion of it we can display it for example if i want to display all the states having population greater than 50 lakh so we can display it on the map for the selected states or based on the state name i want to display all the states having pradesh in their in their name so uttar pradesh andhra pradesh like that only those states will be displayed so let us begin so i have opened up my working folder into my visual code application and you can see working folder is having a subfolder called resources and it is containing the resources which we will require during this development so in the data it is having a india state geojson file and then images is having all required images this is a jquery plugin and these are the other plugins uh, for provider and length measurement so in the working folder now let us create the three basic files which we require for the development so these are the three basic files which we require for development so we'll start working with index.html and it is pretty simple so i'll use uh, visual code functionality to create boilerplate first and then in the title we will mention leaflet session number 4 adding geo json so this is the title that we have added now what we want to do is we want to give a reference to the css and javascript files one thing that we have to do is we have to create a div element with id as map so we have we are done with our html part now let us come back to style part so i am done with my style part now the most important thing that is javascript part of it let me quickly add some providers and now i am creating another variable for base net so i have created a base map variable and now let us define a variable in map so first parameter that i have to give is center so i am providing it the coordinate where i want it to be centered it is basically the center of india and then when it opens for the first time i want the zoom level to be 5 and when it opens for the first time i want osm map to be switched on by default you you know that base maps will be displayed in the form of a radio button and one of the radio button must be selected so i want osm map to be selected by default so we have defined the map and now we have to add all the base map to our uh, web page so variable map layers so this is where we have completed adding our all this base map to our map so let us see how it is working so let me use the live server functionality of uh, visual code 
and as soon as I click on live server it will start publishing my application so it is opening a new window and let us see so you can see over here a base map is displayed with a layer switcher control and all the three base maps we have added are now able to display with a layer switcher so I can switch between OSM, stem in color and world imagery so let us keep the OSM and you can see by default OSM is displayed with switch on other layers we can toggle now after adding this base map let us add measure functionality I'll quickly add this piece of code which we have learned how to do it this is coming from our plugin in the resources you can see we have a line measure plugin so from that plugin this functionality is coming so I have created a variable control measure and then l dot control dot polyline measure and I want the control to be positioned at top left and then when I put a cursor on that when I hover a cursor on that it should display measure length as a tooltip and finally I am adding it to map so when I save it my page will be automatically refreshed and you can see this is the beauty of G live server that is available in visual code that you don't have to refresh page from here it will be automatically refreshed so a measure length button is added and you can see I can do the length measurement over the map and it is giving the measurements very beautifully and when I click back on it it will be removed so this is a small three line of code is doing such a great job for us now let us come back to javascript and add code for adding a geo json file to the map so you can see in our resources and data we have a india st underscore 4326.geojson file name can be anything so here now let us add code for adding a geojson file now i am using a jquery functionality so when it is fetched it will be available in the form of data so when GeoJSON is fetched from the server, I want to display it on top of the map. So I'll use uh, leaflet functionality. I have saved the code and let us see how it is working. So you can see over here, a GeoJSON file has been added from the database and it is displayed with a default color that is black that is blue outline and transparent blue filling so it is working perfectly fine and following zoom in and zoom out functionality so a geojson file has been added to our map with default uh, styling now let us add some styling to it so we'll go to javascript and here when we are adding a geojson file we will add a style parameter It is reading a GeoJSON file from the database and then it will display here. So you can see over here it is now black and transparent color is also black. Now we can change if we want outline as black and fill color as something else. Let us go to documentation part. So in the path when we come to path it provides us all the options that we can change. So here in fill color we can change it. So let us use this. So I'm copying this fill color from here and in the style I would return not just color but we will also change the fill color to say red and now let me save it and let us look at the map. So again it will read from the database because background it is refreshing everything reading from the database and then changing the style so you can see now we have a black outline and then red color in the fill with transparency we can change all these parameters like transparency so opacity how much we want or the dash array if we want a dash array of the outline so i'll add a code over here to add a pop-up to it So it is pretty simple so what i have done is i am adding a geojson data while adding i am providing the style parameter at the same time i am binding a pop-up 
which is coming from the name attribute of the geojson data let me save it and let us see how it works for us so this is where it will refresh the data and it will display the geojson so you can see over here a geojson has been displayed now let me click on any portion of the map and create so it is displaying the state name and state name is coming from the geojson database so let me show you here if i click on the geojson uh, it contains state name as a one of the attribute so this is a geojson data and see name is the attribute now i don't want to display the name simply just like that we can add a complete html part into this return functionality so let us uh, beautify it a bit but it is just to give you a startup that you can beautify the pop up window the way you want let me add a simple html to it so a geojson is displayed now it is perfect state name madhya pradesh so you can stylize this pop up window the way you want using the html elements and the styling parameter so we have successfully added a pop up also now what we want to do is we want to filter this thing so let us see how we can filter so let me come back to our javascript so along with our style that we have provided over here we can provide a filter also so what we have done is we have defined a filter so while adding a geojson database i am not only doing the styling but i am also adding a filter which checks that if a feature property name is matching with a string filter so what is the string filter let us define it here so it will match the name if it is matching with pra it means it is having pra anywhere it will return true otherwise it will return false so it will not display on the map let me save it and let us come back to our geojson now at the time of reading the data it should do the filtering so you can see over here we have himachal pradesh uttar pradesh madhya pradesh andhra pradesh and arunachal pradesh excellent so our filter is working let us change one more time so from pradesh i am changing say raj so it should fetch rajasthan and any other state which is having raj in the name so let us see so excellent it is fetching rajasthan and it is coming up like this so you can do the filtering as per your requirement so let us say pur so by chance if there is any state having pur in the name so let us see over here whether it is filtering excellent so let us see what is that it is manipur tripura everybody is um, both the states are having pur in their name so excellent it is working fine now if we don't want uh, to provide this filter we can just simply comment this line of code so if i comment this thing so i have commented and now if i see it should fetch the entire geojson file and all the state should be displayed properly so let us see yeah coming perfectly fine so what we have done is in this session we have added a geojson file from the database we have done the styling we have attached the pop up and we have also seen how to filter it based on the attributes so here if i say pradesh it will display only those states having pra in the name so we have successfully completed today's session and uh, completed all the targets that we thought of so we'll keep it up to this point in the next session i'll be coming out with a live project which in which we'll be using all the functionalities we have learned so far in the four session till that have a good time thank you